All right, guys, this is what I expect from a knife when I'm out in the field. I want to be able to put this field sharpened edge on a knife very quickly. Can I do the same thing with a machete? Absolutely. This is a field sharpened edge. Guys, welcome back to the workshop. My name is Ben and I'm the owner of North Arm Machete Co. And today's topic is gonna to be all about these little waterproof pouches. Now, if you've landed here from uh, Instructables, welcome to the channel. Um, obviously by the name, this is about uh, using machetes here in Australia, uh, particularly around bushcraft. Um, but it's probably a little bit more appropriate to talk about these particular pouches right now is because it's been bucketing down here for the past week and I haven't actually been able to leave the workshop. I was planning on doing an instructional video on like really extreme sharpening out in the bush um, yeah, using our bush sharpening kit which is this particular pouch here. Um, but it's raining and I'm too old to get out in the bush. Uh, if I was camping I'd do it, but I'm not. So I'm going to stay nice and warm in the workshop. Uh, so if you give me a minute, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of these two pouches. Um, and if you are some of the uh, watchers of my channel at the moment on Machete Bushcraft Australia, um, there'll be a link to the Instructables which I've just written, uh, it should be up in the next couple of days, on how you guys can make those pouches yourself. It's very easy, very cheap. I think in total, I mean I had all the materials for this lying around, but in total, there's probably about 50 cents worth of material in this pouch. It's completely waterproof. You can drop this in the water. Um, they're perfect for, like if you're a survivalist, a little survival pouch. Um, I personally just use it as a, a small uh, first aid kit and obviously the sharpening kit. Um, but you can do like a little fishing kit, a little spice kit, a little sewing kit, uh, any kit that you want. But they really don't cost much to make and they're very, very easy. They look a little bit you know, techy and complicated, but the actual process of making them is, is very straightforward. And they open up really quickly. I mean, that just took a few seconds. Um, so if you bear with me, I'm gonna reset up on the bench and I'll show you guys how, or just a better description of them. Uh, but before I go any further, why did I show you guys a picture of a knife cutting really thin brown paper and a machete cutting uh, really thin brown paper? It's, uh, that's what I call carving sharp. Uh, and it's what I expect from my tools when I'm out in the bush. Um, if I can't get a tool really sharp like that very quickly, uh, it's going to work against me and I don't want that. I actually just want really sharp tools very quickly. Um, and that's pretty much everything in this kit will get me a really sharp machete or a really sharp knife or an axe very rapidly out in the field. And it's repeatable. There's nothing in here that actually wears out, except for the files. They will dull over time. Um, but I'll give you guys, this is actually a bit of a primer of the sharpening video. Um, there's one really clever thing that's actually in here. It's is a, uh, a full size strop. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with stropping an edge, don't worry, I'll clarify all that. It's, uh, it's actually really simple. Um, but bear with me, I'll set up on the bench and I'll show you guys these pouches. All right, guys, the, uh, the million dollar question is, why do I have a bit of green tape on my bench? Um, I've taken this shot four times and I've been out of frame every single time, so I have learnt a new appreciation for YouTubers and how much effort they put into making interesting videos. Um, but back on track, um, and this is more for our Instructables viewers, it's, uh, I just want to give a quick demonstration on, on how to put these clips back on. That's quite very straightforward. The real trick with it is just keeping that string taut and pinching at the same time. But it's a matter of just getting it started. And just gliding the clip on. And that's it. The only other thing I check is I want to make sure that that clip is fairly well centered. And this is another point that I made in the Instructable is to cut these clips just a little bit longer than what I've done them here. Um, and it's because of these ramps. You see those little ramps that are there? You see it's ramped slightly? Uh, that just helps it glide a little bit easier onto the, um, uh, to the dry pouch. Um, so if you make these clips a touch longer, it actually crimps 
all of the rubber and that's one of my first suggestions and the person who picked that up was my uh, spelling uh, very well educated partner who's my spell checker um, and she said oh I don't understand that so that's uh, probably the only other thing that I didn't really clarify too well on the instructables um, and for our regular viewers um, if you want to make these pouches um, I've actually done an instructable it's pretty easy to follow um, and I will have a link down below if you guys want to have a sticky beak um, but back on track with these ones and this is our well, this is my sharpening pouch and uh, what I actually, I actually prefer this style of clip um, it's simply because of this little ranger band with the knot uh, tucked underneath it just means that when I open the pouch I don't lose the clip it's just there uh, ready, uh, ready for whenever I need it I haven't dropped it in the grass um, it's probably the more convenient way of using these but onto this sharpening kit um, definitely my favorite field sharpening kit that I've ever come up with uh, it gets me sharp tools really quickly uh, and it's based for it's for one reason it comes with a full size strop now as I said before if you're unfamiliar with stropping don't worry I'll clarify all that um, it's definitely one of the biggest um, misconceptions that I get from a lot of beginner sharpeners is uh, stropping they've always just assumed that it's for the pro sharpeners and people have been sharpening for a long time and it's simply not the case um, with a strop a strop will just improve the edge that you have provided you have an edge to begin with um, and I am a big advocate for stropping tools because I like my tools very sharp um, if you don't like using sharp tools it's your call uh, everyone gets to decide what level of sharpness suits them um, but probably the most important thing for me about sharp tools is that I need to be able to get them very quickly uh, even with them in the workshop or I'm out in the field I don't want to spend you know half an hour tuning a knife or a machete or an axe um, you know, getting a hair splitting edge on it uh, there's just no point it, it just takes far too long um, and for the uh, look everyone's different some people are sharpening as a hobby and actually like that half an hour experience I don't I'm actually I want to use the tools I want them sharp uh, and I want it nice and quick so it's a this is what we use it's just a cotton strop um, it's tapered on both ends and I've got just a, a key ring because it, it means I can poke a stick through that so I can anchor it and I can get quite a lot of um, uh, uh, tension on this strop and I can hook this either to a twig on the side or tie a rope around a tree and I basically got a very strong surface um, that I can actually pull these this strop nice and taut and that's probably one of the other more important aspects of a strop is it actually needs to be quite taut um, but I'll clarify that when I do the sharpening video now the uh, what else is in the sharpening kit probably my next favorite sharpening things are diamond hones um, now if you're unfamiliar with diamond hones they're actually they have been out for quite a few years um, they're starting to get a little bit popular um, I reckon they should have been popular 20 years ago they've um, uh, they're probably definitely one of my favorite sharpening tools and you might have heard a saying diamonds are forever well it's almost true when it comes with sharpening stones I mean these do wear out but like it really it does take a very 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 long time these two particular hones that I have here actually live on my lathe um, a metal turning lathe so I'm actually I do sharpen quite a lot of high-speed steel and carbide which is really about as tough as you get when it comes to uh, tool steels it's far um, machetes and knives and axes no matter the quality the steel is going to be far softer than what you're going to find a carbide tooling to be um, so these I'm definitely a huge advocate for um, the second reason why I like diamonds is because or diamond homes is because they cut very rapidly so they cut very fine and they cut very fast and they're two really important aspects for me when I'm out in the field uh, because I do want a very fine edge very quickly I'm a huge advocate for this particular brand as well it's easy lap um, these hones are 15 years old I've got uh, hones uh, easy lap hones big ones which have I've absolutely abused the hell out of hell out of they're about uh, 20 years old I bought them when I was 18 um, so again I'm a very big advocate of um, easy lap diamond hones um, the other thing that we keep in here and it's it's the only thing that actually wears out in this system is a file and it's just in a bit of brown paper it should be waxed paper um, but yeah of course I lost that one um, yeah files it's the only other part of the system that wears out readily um, now a file can last a very long time but I mean that's quite you know subjective um, you know I should be able to get a month of daily sharpening um, out of a file 
the way that I use them. Some people will get years out of them. Some people will go through a file in a day. Um, but for me, I know that if I've got a file that I've taken care of, I should be able to get daily sharpening or daily shaping of uh, a machete or an axe or a knife. Uh, it should, I should get a good month out of it. Um, so I always carry a backup. Um, the other thing that I use with this strop as well is honing compound. Um, now there's two uh, uses for a strop and the very first one is its wire edge management and basically whenever you sharpen um, and it's probably the thing that catches out most beginner sharpeners they keep thinking they're not getting a good edge more often than not they've actually got a they've had, they do have a good edge but there's a wire edge on top of that which needs to be removed uh, and there's ways of doing it you can use very very fine stones to slowly remove it or you can run it over a strop uh, and you can actually break that wire edge off um, the second use for a strop is a carrier for fine abrasives. Now this is a, a very, very fine abrasive. It's not the finest, um, but it's, it's fine for machete use. It's fine for any craft use, um, uh, for us anyway. Um, but it's a carrier for another abrasive. So this essentially is a very cheap um, version of a very expensive stone. I mean, a stropping compound, you, you $15 will buy you a good quality big block of this green compound and you can make this strap yourself. And it's the equivalent of a very fine, expensive Japanese stone, which I don't want to carry out in the bush personally. So, I mean, that's basically the strops. Uh, and of course, the pocket stone that you would have seen in all my sharpening videos so far definitely one of my favorites it's a six dollar stone um, and it's probably it's the second step for me it goes file pocket stone two hones and then a strop and i'd have a razor's edge now that machete and that knife were both sharpened with this system uh, granted the machete was actually uh, it was already polished uh, polished I just did a micro bevel sharpening and I just used this, um, this uh, diamond hone, this diamond hone and uh, this strop. So again, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for this system. Um, now, what else have I got left before I wrap this up? Um, yeah, for my um, regular viewers, if you like this video, um, and you want to make one of these pouches, absolutely jump online, jump on Instructables. There's uh, probably about 50 cents worth of materials in that pouch. It's a free, that was a recycled motorcycle inner tube. These clips uh, in Australia, you can buy this aluminium, a one meter length of it uh, at Bunnings for, oh, it's under $3. It's a very cheap system. All of us probably have paracord. You can use any cord you like. Um, and so, yeah, there you go. I think that might be it for this week. Next week's definitely gonna be uh, the razor hone. I'll show you guys how you can sharpen up an ax, a machete or a knife, as sharp as what you saw in the beginning of this video. And for everyone else um, who's interested in bushcraft and machetes, um, I've just been introduced to the concept of what is called a, uh, a tri-stick or a, a Moore's tri-stick. Uh, and it's basically, it's just a series of different cuts that you can do. Most people use a, um, a pocket knife or a bushcraft knife with a Scandi grind or a flat grind. Um, the truth is, is I did these with a machete um, quite quickly um, with a convex grind on it. So you can actually carve with the machete and you can also do these, these Moore's uh, tri-sticks with a convex grind. It doesn't have to be a flat chisel grind. There is some advantages to a chisel grind. Uh, it is a little bit more control on the cut. However, it's much more, it's much uh, more difficult for the beginner sharpener to actually maintain a Scandi grind. You actually need quite flat stones um, and look when I'm out in the field nothing's flat nothing's square um, that's one of the, also one of the reasons why I like a convex grind is that anyone can learn how to sharpen a convex grind um, and you don't need fancy equipment for it and it's every bit of sharp guaranteed um, so if anyone's interested in um, can you craft with a machete I just did this little cut in like two minutes um, I have always used a machete to do this style of work. I've just never known what a, a more stick was. So I'm actually going to start practicing these sticks uh, with a machete, and I'll do a video on that in the future. Um, so until next week, guys, with the uh, sharpening video, um, I'll see you then.